can't see it yet. But God will feel you. Along the way, you'll make some progress. You gon' have to trust the process. Look at me, I know. I've been down this road before. I wrestled God to let me go. But I'm so grateful he said no. no. This is not your final call. This is not the last act. You gon' take it all. Just hold on. I know he gon' bring so it back. So I'm like, up, like, up, up. I gotta choose the bathroom and now I can't go back to sleep. Anywho. <laughs> So I was up just thinking and a lot of people been asking me, what made you go to Florida? How did you do it? I'm scared. I'm scared. I want to leave and I'm scared. Let me tell you something. Do not let fear hold you back from doing what the hell you want to do. Fear, fear of failure, fear of not having help, fear of whatever. If you're like me and you didn't really have much help anyways where you were, it don't make no fucking difference. But in general, even if you're not like me, don't let fear hold you back from changing your life or wanting to do something you always wanted to do. Because you're going to regret not knowing what would have happened if you did. I'm not saying all the time you're going to be successful, but if you keep at it, most likely you will. And if you don't, at least you can say you did. Anyways, so I just up in my thoughts and my mind and my because all I do all day is think. If anybody knows me, all I do all day is think and reflect on just life, my life, things that happened. Um, and I, that used to cause me really bad anxiety, and I learned how to kind of control that somewhat and turn that into a good. I don't want to say meditation session, but a good way to process my emotions, my feelings, my thoughts, my scares, you know, my fears, my my whatever accomplishments um, and build on those. And I personally almost let the fear of the unknown and the fear of, you know, yeah, I'm alone now, but God, for if there's really an emergency, at least I can probably call my cousin or something like that. Like those fears of, um, you know, what if I go down there and I don't get the job or, the, you know, they say, you know what, we don't want you. And then now I'm stuck looking for a job. I only have just so much money to hold me up. And, da -da 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 -da. and, you know, what if I get down there and I can't get approved for an apartment or just anything, anything. It was a whole lot of what ifs. Do you know when I took those what ifs and was like, <laughs> I kind of just took them up crumple them up i took some of those thoughts into consideration and instead of letting them hold me back i researched certain things and everything like that and i educated myself on the things that i needed to know and then i was like it's so like okay thank you and put them right in the trash <laughs> matter of fact put them in the toilet forget the trash put them in the toilet flash poop and you don't look at them again because at the end of the day, all that shit can happen right where you're at. You could lose your job right where you're at. You could be stuck in a fucked up situation right where you are at. Life is not always going to be fucking perfect. At the end of the day, shit's going to fucking happen. You're going to struggle. <laughs> if you did it, then I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. But even rich people go through shit and they struggle. Whether it's mentally, um, emotionally, spiritually spiritually uh <laughs> you know financially they might run out who knows but people go through shit you know that's a part of life we go through shit and i just got my ass up i was like fuck this i'm tired of this shit i want to experience new and different um and i want to give my kids a better opportunities at success because i don't think the children where i was you know, unless they had parents who maybe had a little bit of extra to do or whatever. Or the, the, the community in general just don't have much shit for kids to fucking do. Which is not good. Because if they don't got shit to do, then the kids are going to go out and get in trouble. Period. Ain't nothing else to do but trouble. Um, so, anywho. I'm saying all of this to say, stop asking me how. Because I don't even know. I just did.
I just got the fuck up and did because I wanted to. And when you want to do something and when you want something, you do. You work at it. It might take a little bit, but you do. So just do. I don't even know how. I just did. And spiritually, I know I am divinely guided. And so I talk to my angels and I and I talk to the man above and I pray. And, you know, I ask for guidance. Hey, listen, this is what I want to do. I don't know if it's a good idea, but this is what I want to do. Please give me a sign. Let me know something. Let some numbers pop up. Something. Talk to me. You know, I need to know if I'm making the right decision. Or is this person a lesson? <laughs> or is this person a blessing? Like, come on now. There's a lot of things. Like, I talk. I might not get down on my knees all the time and pray. I might not, you know, but I talk to the man above. And and I know I have my angels around me. I feel their presence all the time. I can see the communications that they be sending me. So trust them. Y'all do too. Open your hearts and your mind and trust them and walk. They will guide your feet. Trust me. They will guide your feet where they need to go. And... Sometimes it ain't gonna be pleasant, but it might have been a lesson you needed. But they were guided. You gon' take it out, just hold on. I know he gon' it bring so it back. To see the light. I know it, but you gon' make it through the night.